Hey y'all, welcome to the Trash Can Unit, where we're all trash cans over here, because that's just how it is. Uh, I'm finally doing another video with my voice in it. Apparently people like that. By people, I mean Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Um, so, I do want to make another 2019 video, because the other one was just what Spotify told me, and like I want to do something uh, kind of creative. Yeah, no, I just saw a video on YouTube, and I'm like, you know what, I want to do that too. Um, so this is inspired by a video by, uh, Velvet Ice Cream. Uh, so it's K-pop B-sides of 2019 that deserve more. Uh, and no, it's not, oh, B-sides, that should have been the title track, because that's fucking stupid, I hate those. Uh, no offense, but, like, kind of offense. Like, some offense. Um, but yeah, this is basically... Oh, and it's for girl groups and female solos only because men- <coughs> No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Please, don't attack me for that. Uh, um, so yeah, it's basically like gonna be my favorite B-side of the albums, but... You know what? That's okay. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore at this point. Also, I have a cold, so my voice is a little raspy. Um, so, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. And yes, I'm keeping my Christmas intro because the holidays are not yet over. The new year is still yet to come. I was gonna say that at the beginning, but I forgot, so there you go. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with it. <laughs> Alright, the first one I'm talking about is Trick It by Twice from the Feel Special album. Um, now, this song is quite popular. Um, it's loved by many fans, uh, including you, Sarah. <laughs> Sorry. No, uh, I was messaging Sarah when Feel Special came out. She's like, yeah, I'm kind of Trick It's whore right now. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's very popular amongst onces, um, but I feel like it really deserved like its own music video like, or, you know, special showcase i it just it deserves so much more um so give trick it lots of love please all right on to the next one to be simple let's work up the nice guy <laughs> the next song is my star by mama moo from their white wind album this song freaking slaps like listen to it one time and don't like, and tell me you weren't bopping during the chorus like oh my god this it really hits different honestly i mean it's just it's such a good song it gets stuck in my head all the time like if i hear it just like on shuffle on my playlist like five hours later it's just gonna be playing in my head <laughs> non-stop um i think it's just a really cool style and like it really you know gives you that like bad bitch feel <laughs> so yeah I really, I really think my star deserved better. Yeah. Okay, so the next song is And Then There Was No One Left by Dreamcatcher. No, sorry, it's And There Was No One Left. I can't speak English, you know this. Um, well, everyone knows the song. Anyone who knows any Dreamcatcher song knows this song. But it still deserves a lot more. It deserves a music video. It deserves to be a single. Come on. Come on. We know this. Uh, I'm not saying it deserves to be a title track over Petey. Because Petey is, you know, legendary. Uh, but it does deserve a lot more. So, I'm putting it in. This next song is Dawn by Hayes from her Falling Leaves Are Beautiful. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, that's the title track from her late autumn uh, album. Um, I think this song deserves the world because it's just so nice to listen to. And it really makes it feel like fall, even though right now it's winter. Um, just always gives me, you know, late autumn <laughs> vibes. And it just deserves so much more. And a lot of people don't even know this song. So please listen to it when you have the chance. Uh, don't click away from my video to listen to it. Uh, listen to it after you're done watching my videos. I want views. Um, but yeah, it's a really good song. So please check it out if you haven't. 
Now, every song on Red Velvet's The Revit Festival Day 1 album is a bop. We all know this. They're all so good. But Milkshake really hits different with the different parts going, I like a like a milkshake and the ooh la la la, I like it. Oh my god, perfection. Uh, so yeah, this is such a good song. And yes, it does have a music video, but I don't like the aspect ratio. So uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, this song, it deserves so much more. It deserves stages. Even if it already has stages, it deserves it deserves more because I haven't seen any Milkshake stages. Um, so yeah, Milkshake deserves everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me start off by saying that Popak and Four are an underground group. I mean... I don't see people talking about them, like, ever. I would just but this song, Seattle Alone, from their Puberty Bookie Boom, I don't know how to pronounce that album, it's it's one of my favorite songs ever. It's my fourth favorite song in the world. And now, if if I give it a number, like, a specific place, that means, it means so much to me, and it really does. Like, Seattle Alone is an amazing song, and it always gets me crying, and nobody talks about it. Well, I don't hear people talk about the group, but this song, like, no one, not even, like, a single YouTube video, I, I just, no one talks about the song, but they should, because this song is amazing, and it deserves so much more. Um, well, even though every single song that this group has ever produced is amazing, like, Stars Over Me from the same album, I mean, it, that song, it's really good, too, but people actually talk about that one, so, and it's a title track, so, mm. Uh, but Seattle Alone deserves a, a lot more than it has. So stream Seattle Alone for, uh, for clear skin and stand both for. Okay, this next song is Oh My Summer by Ucho Sonya. Uh, or, okay, I don't say WJ Sen, I said Ulubuchi. I don't know. I have a weird way of pronouncing this in my head. But Ucho Sonia, that's what I call them uh, when I'm actually speaking. Um, but Oh My Summer, it's a freaking bop. And like for the entirety of the summer, like since it came out, like I was just in the car and I was like, you know what, I want to listen to Oh My Summer. And like I had Shuffle on. And then another song, uh, another song played after that. I'm like, you know what, no, I want to listen to Oh My Summer on repeat for five more hours. Let's go. Uh, I just I think this song deserves more. I mean, every single song on this album is perfection, right? Uh, but oh my summer, oh my god, I I love it and it deserves more. Okay, yeah. Oh baby, All right, this next song is show. Nope. I was thinking of show. No, this song is not show. This is Like It by CLC from their number one album. Um, I just really, really like this song. And the message here is stand uh, CLC for Clister. I can't speak English. I was going to say stand CLC for Crystal Clear Skin. But I messed up, as I always do. Uh huh. Yep. I am. Yep. <laughs> Master of English. <laughs> This next song is Colors by Luna from their XX album. Uh, I This song, it already has a lot of attention, but like, it deserves more. <laughs> I don't know, I just... Well, it just... I, I really like this B-side. It's just... I, I wanted to include it. Well, be it deserves more already because it's a B-side. Uh, but like, all I gotta say is, I go, I go, I go. The next song is Jump In by Red Velvet from their The Red Velvet Festival Day 2 album. And let me tell you, 
this song i'd say is probably the least popular or like second to least popular song of the album um i don't know it might be carpool i don't know but jump in deserves so much more it's my favorite song from their album it's just so good you know i mean all you gotta do is just dance body to body and then you'll understand how great jumping is um so to any jumping aunties um just get out this next song is polished by twice from their fake and true album and i know it's a japanese song but like it's still so good and it's so nice and it's a fun song and it just really lifts my spirits uh, and it really deserves more you know it deserves a performance maybe maybe <laughs> i'm kidding it really deserves a performance please please jyp or if they're japanese labels in charge i don't freaking know but uh this song deserves a lot more so please listen to polish i keep pronouncing it like polish in my head we <laughs> The next song is What's Your Name by Idol. This song is so underrated. It's one of my favorite songs by them ever. And it is so slept on. It just really deserves more. It deserves a performance. It deserves more recognition by fans and non-fans. I just, I love this song so much. It was like, I, I heard like the little snippet of it, you know, in the teaser. And I was like, wow, I, I need to hear this song. I really want to listen to it. So, yeah, I love this song, and it needs a lot of love, so please love it. Thank you. Alright, so that's all I have for you today. Um, I know there are a lot of songs that I left out that I wanted to include, but the video is running a little long, and Sophia's about to start hosting a game. Hi, Sophia, if you're watching, you're probably not. I only ever send Sarah in my videos, sometimes in the group chat, but the group chats don't really watch them. Um... But I want to play Sophia's game, and it's starting, like, right now, so goodbye. I will post this later.